Welcome back to Lily Bees. On tonight's video, what's the big deal with bourbon hunting? Hello all, and welcome back to Lily Bees. For tonight, I wanted to do something uh, a little different, but I think it's relevant with getting started collecting. And uh, if you saw our last video, sort of talking about the five recommended bottles to get started with. The next step in my journey anyway was what does it mean to hunt bourbon? Why does it matter? What are some different reasons that you might do that? And different terminology and things like that. So what I wanted to go through tonight are three different reasons that you might be seeking out certain bottles. And in my opinion, it falls into three different categories. The first one is the all-time, hard-to-find, this is all the time, year-round, doesn't matter your area or anything like that, what you might call unicorn bottles. These are things like uh, Old Rip Van Winkle, anything from the, Whip, the Van Winkle line, such as Pappy, you've maybe heard of, Elmer T. Lee, Rock Hill Farms, Colonel E. H. Taylor, the OFBB, which is the Old Forester Birthday Bourbon, or the BTAC, which is the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Different things like that are going to be hard to find no matter where you are, what time of year it is. A term you might commonly hear associated with these bottles is that they're highly allocated. And what that means is that they're only released in very select small quantities at certain times, and oftentimes, at least in my state, where you have a state-run liquor program, states like Iowa, uh, Pennsylvania, I was just looking at, I think Virginia, for example, they're released by a lottery system to the state itself, and then, oftentimes at the store level, they're featured in a lottery-type program as well. So they're very hard to find, and winning the lottery simply gives you the opportunity to purchase the bottle. So it's very tough. And you'll notice I don't have any of those bottles I mentioned in my collection because they're that hard to find. Moving on to the second reason that you might be hunting and the second tier in the list is the allocated list. I broke this down into a few different sections. One would be sort of uh, what's hot that season and what everybody's looking for. And I laid a few of those bottles out today. We've got the Buffalo Trace, the Buffalo Trace Bourbon Cream. Those were pretty hot this year, especially the Bourbon Cream. I think that was new this year. But the Buffalo Trace is released seasonally, and so that was real hot through the holidays. Also, Early Times Bottled and Bond was big. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Henry McKenna 10-year bottled and bond, and Eagle Rare. And then in the front here, kind of on its own, I have Blanton's. That is every holiday season, um, is my understanding, it's going to be very hot, hard to find, everybody's after it, because it's a very recognizable, classic gift bottle, and that's what everybody wants. So that's part one of the allocated, is what's hot that season. Then we also have such things as new releases or regional allocations. So if there's a new release that's considered allocated, then that's going to be hot at the time. I have an example of that here, the Jack Daniels Twice Barreled American Single Malt. This was a new release for them and just came out, I think, it was released to our state about a month ago, and I think it came out just in general, slightly before that. This is the 2022 special release, and you'll see releases by year, and that's what I'm referring to here as part of the allocated category. Something else that is not necessarily a seasonal release, but is in the allocated category because of how it's distributed from the distillery, is Caribou Crossing is only released certain times of year in small batches to select locations. So things like that. Um, the final category, oh, uh, something I forgot to mention there are the regional releases. So that would be things that are common in certain parts of the country year-round, 
but people are seeking those because they're very good and that increases their popularity. Those would be things such as the Penelope line, the Nulu line, Smoke Wagon, things like that. And I've heard that Smoke Wagon, it's a Texas product, so it's going to be on the shelves in Texas and it's readily available in Colorado. Things like that are just kind of hit and miss where they're regularly stocked and because the supply is there, the demand is not necessarily there. The final of the three categories that might give you a reason to go hunting for a particular bottle are those that you just know that you like. They're maybe somewhat available or a little bit harder to find. And so you're on the hunt in your area or when you're traveling to find what you like. For example, I really like Baker's 107. I'm excited to try Legent, which is apparently a similar product from the same Jim Beam distillery. Something else that I like that's somewhat available is Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel and not everybody was hunting that and so there's a little bit more supply available but that's one that I'm looking out for. Or you see behind me the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof which is also somewhat available. Not everyone's hunting it but it's one that I like. Uh, I should say I'm excited to try. I've heard a lot about it. Haven't opened it yet. so. Anyway, if you have any questions or um, bourbons that you're hunting for, you can leave those in the comments down below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the, ne on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, as always.